Hello, my name is Jörg and welcome to Coach Red. In the prior video, we created a database on Cloud Firestore and added two documents. In this video, we will connect it to AppGyver using the data resource. First, I look into the Firebase developer documentation. I scroll down and select Cloud Firestore. We're connecting via a REST API. So first, scroll down to API reference and then REST. We will be working with documents, so I scroll down to the document section. First, I want to retrieve all of our to-dos, so I'm looking for a list of documents. First, I look at the HTTP method. In our case, it's a GET method. Next, I'm looking at the resource URL. Next, I'm looking at the relative path. I find the specifics in the path parameters. So here we have our syntax. We also see that we need a collection ID since that is required as well. With that information, we can head over to AppGyver. I've just created a new project called To Do App. I head over to the data tab on top to configure our data resource. Here I add a data resource of the type REST API Direct Integration. The resource ID is a name I can freely set, and the resource URL. I simply copy from the Firebase documentation. And that's for the base configuration. Now I configure the getCollection method. The resource URL gets carried over from our base configuration. And the relative path we find in the Firebase documentation. I copy the syntax from the path parameter and paste it into the relative path in AppGyver. The curly brackets indicate that these parts need to be replaced with the project specific information. Again, I'm heading over to Firebase to find the answers. The project ID I find in the project settings. I copy it and replace the curly brackets in the relative path in AppGyver. The database ID for all non-paid plans in Firebase is the word default in round brackets. We don't need the document path at the moment, but the second path parameter, the collection ID. Firebase shows me the name of my collection as the word to do's with a capital T. So I add it to the relative path in AppGyver. This would return a single document with the list of all to do's inside of it. However, getCollection expects a list of documents. I can achieve this by writing the word documents into the response path. Looking good, I run a test to check the configuration of the getCollection method. Great, the status is okay, so our getCollection method is configured correctly. We got back a list with two JSON objects. If you're not familiar with JSON, please look below for the link to an explainer video. Even without knowing too much about JSON, we can find out a few things. This is our first JSON object. Firebase returned to us four keys that we hadn't put in. Name, fields, create time, and update time. They come in handy later. For now, let's look at the fields section. That object contains the data that we actually entered into Firebase. Here do we find our task as a string value and our field done as a Boolean value. Next we set our schema based on the test result. Again here we find the structure create time, name, update time and fields. And the fields contain the properties done and task. Great! Base and get collection are configured correctly. Let's head over to the next video to list our to-dos in the AppGyver app.